Good morning. This is Joyce. Mm, I know I've been kind of missing. I haven't done a video in a little bit. Uh, I've been kind of busy this weekend. My daughter and granddaughters and great-granddaughters all came over and spent a couple days with me. So I took off Thursday and Friday and hung out with them. And um, today, though, I am they are gone home and I am trying to get caught up. So I am here today with a couple projects that I've worked on and completed. And this one has been sitting on my desk for a while. I have a friend that I work with and we became friends when I first moved here. Which has been about 12 years now. And she was at my desk at work and she saw my little purple box that I had done and I used paper to keep paper clips in. I said, oh, I want a box, I want a box. And I know I probably talked about this before. Anyway, she wanted me to do her a box, and she had one and brought it to me, and it was a piece of crap. She had bought it at the dollar store. It was broken. It was held together with nails and not screws, and there was no way to fix it. So I told her, look, I'm throwing it away. And I bought another box. Of course, I used a coupon, so I paid very little for it. And her colors were pink and green. She um, is in a sorority. Don't ask me which one because I'm not into sororities. But she is in a sorority, and she wanted her box to be pink and green. So I thought that's easy. And this is the top of the box. I bought the box at Hobby Lobby. It was, like I said, really not expensive at all. And with the coupon, it cost very little. Um, I painted the box using Dilution Stain uh, Funky Fuchsia, is it? Anyway, it's the Fuchsia one, so it's the pink. And as you can see, I stained it all around. Um, and then after I stained it, because you know if they get wet, they will, the water will, um, pick the color up. I took and put some decoupage on top of it just to kind of keep it from losing, you know, if she touched it wet, I didn't want the color coming off on her hand. So I decoupage, used the decoupage, uh, mat on top. Uh, these flowers are recollections. They're from the $2 bin at Michael's. And they were a lighter green. And I used uh, the Dilutions spray with a brush and painted them with the spray. So I hope she don't be touching it with water. But anyway, that's how I got the green flowers. Got them more green because... The other ones were really not that. They were green, but they were like a real pale color. And, you know, I, with the fuchsia pink, I really needed that green to pop. So I dyed those. We're using a brush. And then these are more flowers from the $1.50 bin at Michael's. So, And then these are some Prima. The smaller ones are Prima um, from my stash that I've had a long time. And so that is where all the flowers came from. This bling is bling on a roll that I bought on clearance a couple years ago from Michael's. So this was the first time I used it. And I just cut it into pieces uh, and then just layered it because I just thought those spots needed something else. Then these butterflies are also recollections bought on clearance and they came a lot of different shades of pink to a box so I used those and I just thought that made the box top really pretty this bling you know how I love that bling from Michaels out of the dollar fifty bin and I bought that one recently so I took it all the way around and then this trim and this bling is from uh, Hobby Lobby and I just love this bling. And I wish I could find or get some of the big sheets, you know, that aren't already sticky. These come with adhesive on the back, but you really need to add adhesive to make them hold. 
And then, like I said, this trim is from Hobby Lobby, paid 50% off. So inside the box, I was at Joann's and I bought that sheet of bling. So I thought I'd bling up the inside just because it was so plain. And then I put felt in the bottom and along this edge, I had cut my felt a little short. So I put a piece of bling down that edge and I added that with um, more of that decoupage glue which is cool so and that's it and then on the bottom of my box and it doesn't really look good but I just I didn't like the bottom was kind of I don't know so I added a piece of paper from the romance novel and it was just kind of to finish off the box and I should have smoothed it down better but I like it and then I just decoupage over the top of it so I really like how this box turned out I hope she likes it. I'm going to take it to her tomorrow. I need to take pictures so I can put it on my blog. And that's the inside once again. I hope she likes it. Um, I do. I really love how it turned out. And I, I love doing boxes. And it seems that the people I care something about actually likes my boxes. So who knows. But anyway, that is that for this project, and I will be back because I have another one ready to go. Bye. Have a great day. And, oh, just a note, uh, welcome to all of my new subscribers. Uh, yeah, I've uh, gone over 500, and I'm really surprised, but, yeah, I've, I'm over 500. Uh, I looked this morning. And, hey, Thank you for watching, and I am so pleased that you found something that you might have liked on my channel. Uh, bye, everybody. I'll be back with another video.